Good afternoon, and welcome to episode number 646, 646. And the topic today is what happens the day after International Women's Day, because yesterday was International Women's Day. And I talked about it then, I'm going to talk about it again today, because it's worth talking about. <laughs> Before I jump into the topic at hand, let me introduce myself and let you know what's going on. Uh, my name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. Excuse me. I'm a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and relationship attraction expert, and I help women create balance in love, life, and business. Because I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine, which also led to these talks I've been doing now for over two years called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart, hence the MFTM prefix, that's the Messages from the Masculine. And this is episode number 646, because I've done these for a while. And again, this topic today is what happens the day after International Women's Day. Because as I spoke about yesterday, I'm going to recap some of yesterday before I bring it to today. And um, by the way, in case you haven't joined me before, this is a Facebook Live I do first that then I put on replay on my business page on Facebook, then move it to YouTube so you can watch it there as well. So I'll give you the links at the back end. So if you're watching on YouTube wondering who the commenters are, if there are commenters, they're on Facebook first. So you want to watch me first on Facebook, then you can interact in the comments live. If you want to watch the replays, you can do it on Facebook or YouTube. Okay, move that aside, take care of it in the, the broadcast. So, this is my Saturday broadcast, since the casual attire. I was just at a, a what, um, what do you call it? A business training slash networking event that was a two day event. I went today just to check in and connect with some friends there. And I was talking to some of the women outside, and also I've been talking to some women online, and this is a topic of conversation which is this. Yesterday was International Women's Day. Hurrah, whoopee, nice to celebrate women. And in fact, this month is Women's History Month. So a lot of things about women going on. But the thing I've noticed is with all these day celebrations, whether it's Martin Luther King Day or if it's something else, the memory of what that's about tends to fade right afterwards. And because of my stand in the world and my focus supporting, supporting women being honored, respected, and appreciated for who they are and what they do, it triggers me, <laughs> to put it simply. In my experience, I'm aware of how there's a lot, I mean, let's put it this way. Yesterday, there were lots of posts and comments and memes and declarations about International Women's Day, which is wonderful. And today, it's funny because today I'm seeing in my feed yesterday's, yesterday's um, um, posts. So I'm seeing it in today. But in a few days' time, once those posts fade down the news feed, there won't be much talk, conversation about it. Now, two, there's a fork in the road coming up as I talk about this. One of those is there's a distinct um, calendar-based focus that doesn't last. I'm trying to find a way of phrasing it. So it happens basically that yesterday was the day, so basically in three months' time it's gone, it's forgotten about till next year. That's one thing. The second part, which I talked about yesterday as well, is the fact we have to have International Women's Day says a lot for where we are not yet in our culture. Something I'm very aware of, I've become aware of very clearly, is that all these things we have, like, when we, like last month was Black History Month, already forgotten, and this month is Women's History Month. The reason these things happen, these, the, these um, International Women's Day, these months, these dedications to certain subsets of our population are done is because people look at our culture in subsets. This is going to sound so simplistic, but this is what's going on. Women in this culture are not automatically equal citizens, respected, honored, however you want to describe it, because of the way society is structured. It's a patriarchal society that puts women second. So as a, as a throwing the bone, so to speak, like as, a, as, a, as a simple gesture, a International Women's Day was created. Now, I understand there's a lot of energy behind that to support women, which is great. But my question is, what about the other 364 days? And I would say, I'd, I'll say it this way, this is another way of saying it, by the way. I look forward to the time where International Women's Day goes away because women are no longer placed second. Because I believe if, not excuse me, not if, when women are fully um, honored, revered, respected, 
accepted as being equals to men, period, across the planet, Essential Women's Day won't be needed anymore. Now, that's a high reach, I know. But I'm very aware that we are in a changeable environment now. Like The fact that we have more women running for office than ever before in this country, even though England has had a, a female prime minister more than once in the last 50 years, so and a queen as well. But the thing is, this is in this country in particular, I'm just, just focused on America for now, just because it's easier. The culture we have in this country is so far behind the times on the way that we have men, women in, in um, I hate to use the word equality, but it's kind of what I'm talking about here, being honored as equals. Because the thing is, there's some, I believe, also some unwritten rule running around that equal means the same. And that is not going to work because women and men are not the same. Whether you want to think about this being Mars and Venus, thanks to John Gray, or just the fact that we're different genders and the other genders in between those, we'll never be the same. Equal, yes. But equal doesn't have to mean the same. That's the whole point in this. And I guess what I'm attempting to say in this broadcast as a reminder, as an encouragement, as a challenge even, is where can we raise the bar and raise the respect level so that both genders are on the same page? How much more can men become aware and take into account how women are in their lives? I did a few talks last week. I did a three, what became a three-part series. It wasn't planned that way. It became a three-part series about dickish behavior, meaning how men have been like dicks around women. And I don't mean genitalia. I'm talking about behavior and, and manners. And part of the shift I spoke, to, spoke about then, which I'm talking about here, is that more that men act like gentlemen, where they just simply respect women out of the fact that they're women, not because of anything, that'll start the tide, that'll start the tide turning. The tide, yeah. And that's something I think we have to look at as a conscious community, as a, as a growing population, as a culture in this country, as American subjects. I'm English, I know, but I'm, 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 I'm a resident here. But the thing is, for me, there's a distinct opportunity to grow, to evolve, to become much more um, awake and aware and regarding each other with respect. Both men to men, men to women, women to women, men to men, and to ourselves. We all have room to improve. So, as a talking point, I'm going to ask you this. Sorry, Jermaine just posted it. What do you say? So very true. This is why you're not into specifics of gender and or cultures. Praises above. Thank you. Appreciate that, Jermaine. Yeah, I, I understand that. But And I personally feel that, and maybe I'm, over, maybe I'm overcompensating because of coming from England and having this, this gentlemanly wiring inside from being raised this way. Respecting women is a default for me. So when I see men not respecting women, it kind of pushes my buttons. I don't want to step in and say something or do something or bring awareness to those people who don't do it. Because as a man who appreciates women and loves women and cares for them, I'd like to think that more men would respect them as well. So that's my Saturday afternoon fireside chat. <laughs> Give you something to think about and to consider for yourselves because this is something that I believe we have the opportunity to raise the conversation and to bring the conversation forward, to start having this become a way of talking and thinking and acting so that we respect each other and that we have a place that is more um, inclusive. Yes, there's a whole lot of, un lot of um, undoing of the patriarchal stranglehold that we've had on this culture for many years. But beyond that is also how we do in our individual lives, how we respect and appreciate each other. So I am in the position or in the camp of seeing women as equals, respecting them and honoring them as a way of life. I invite you to join me. And that's my Saturday broadcast. Um, yeah, there's room to grow. So thank you, Jermaine. Yes, appreciate that. I'm glad you think this message is spot on. Um, if you're watching this broadcast, you haven't seen it, be haven't seen it before, feel free to share it out if you want to share it with anybody. 
Um, this is my daily Facebook Live at 5 p.m. Pacific time, pretty much every day, once in a while it moves. Um, this is becoming part of my core message now. So I, I had to talk about it again. Again, it was an event today, and so it was some women about it, and it was very clearly on the, surf, on the radar. So I want to talk about it today. So with that, I thank you for watching. This is my daily Facebook Live. You find me on facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. The replays you can watch on my business page on Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby dot author. And then on YouTube, you can find me under Barry Selby. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, by the way, like my, fa excuse me, like my Facebook page. And you can find my playlist on, the, on my uh, channel, which is Messages from the Masculine. Any questions, comments about this broadcast, please put them below. If you want to share it with anybody who thinks you should see this, please share it with them. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, make sure you catch me tomorrow. Um, every day, 5 p.m. Pacific time, right here, right now. So thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.